All right, today we're going to talk about saddles. We've got a whole stack of saddles down here. We're going to get really into the saddle deal. I just want to do a quick plug. I've just upgraded my ebook, updated it. Go to duranod.com and I talk all about this bike buyer's guide. It's called Duranod's Lean Body Bible and it is a training guide, a bike buyer's guide. I just uploaded that today uh, with the, the best recommendations to talk about best saddles, best seat posts, best Chinese frames, the best road bikes, the best alloy, the best touring bikes, the best bikes for fitness. Hundreds and hundreds of tips, say be thousands and thousands of dollars for my 22 years of experience racing and being a fucking bike geek. As much as I've known anyone to be a bike geek. And it's all also my ebook is basically my 100% honest opinion and experiences. It's not industry bias. You know, a lot of people out there are paid for certain products and blah, 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 blah. And I understand that, you know, but this isn't GCN here, this ain't Bike Radar, this is Duran Rider, give my honest, 100% real-time reviews, all right? And I love or hate it, this is how it is. So we're gonna talk about saddles. I'm gonna talk about what my favorite saddles are, we're gonna talk about a few. Uh, I'll, I'll just pick up saddles randomly, and I'll run into them. This is a Physique uh, Vresta. It is, uh, I know that this is more of a female-specific saddle. This was a Freelease old saddle, and uh, she really liked it. You know, she got another one on, on the new bike, so she definitely about. So if you do have a girlfriend or if you're a female watching this, the Physique Vestra, D, I'm sure you can see that on there, D-E-S-T, Vesta. This is very popular with the ladies. I know Tori loved this saddle. She loved it as well. Uh, Natasha doesn't like it. So saddles is very, 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 very personal, right? This is Banana Girls old saddle, but we sell that on eBay for some people out there who'd get that, grab that one. But that's this Physique Vestra. Here we're gonna go to a giant, uh, this is the giant contact SLR, not a cheap saddle, it's carbon railed. And if you are going to use carbon railed saddle, be aware that you can over clamp them and crack them. So for most people, I don't recommend carbon railed saddles. They're very delicate. Uh, it's, it's a forward position, so it's quite a, if you're a bit more racy, it's got an anatomical cutout, so it means your, your sit bones sit on there and your perineum, everything, your gooch sits through there. It's quite a hard saddle. It's a saddle I enjoy, but again, test ride in the side. This is probably my favorite saddle, and the reason why it's my favorite saddle is it's pretty dead flat, right? And you can see, I don't I generally angle it maybe two degrees down a little bit. Some people have their saddle like that, and it puts a lot of pressure here, you know, on your gooch. If you want to have your saddle flat, or maybe a little bit down. Too much down, it's going to tip you forward, and you'll be like, you know, you'll be on front of your bars, a lot of pressure on your hands. So you want to have it flat, or maybe a down a little bit, all right? If it's still too much pressure, lower it two millimeters, all right? And have a how you go. If your saddle is, if you're trying to really slam still like that, it means it's probably too high. Lower it so it's more flat, and then you'll be good to go. All right. Look at professional right, right, recyclers. They live in their bikes. Most of them are little dead flat or just a little bit down. You know. So there, this is a, a specialized Phenom. It's a 2008 model saddle. I've done a lot of uses of my bamboo bike. So you can see I've rubbed it with my right hand leg, which is quite interesting, isn't it? See, most people have a little bit of a discrepancy in the legs. And that's a titanium rail. It's about 200 grams. This is the Specialized Power. This is Natasha's favorite saddle. I'm like, yeah, it's all right. You know, this is a Specialized Power. And it's also the Specialized Power Mimic, which for me, I can't tell the difference when I ride them. And neither can Natasha. They're both almost identical shape. But people love them or they hate them. I'm, don't, I'm not either. I'm like, yeah, it's all right. But Natasha really likes this saddle. So this is Natasha's saddle. Probably sell that one for a pretty penny on eBay as well. Um, so that is the, yeah, so again, the... It's a bit of a flat, it's a flat sort of saddle, isn't it? It's pretty flat. And then we have here, you know, so it's pretty flat. So generally, we have it angled, so it's just a bit down pointed. Another tip as well is generally put a white out pen. We mark stuff. As you can, I'm not sure you can see that. Sort of there's some marks. So if anything slips, you've got a reference point you can slide it back to. Yeah, there's a little white out pen mark there. Uh, so I should probably update that because it does wear off over time. So that's a specialized power. Another saddle to recommend, I recommend, is the Bontrager Montrose. This is a very, I like this saddle. This is the Elite, it also comes in a carbon version, carbon railed version, and weight, this, you're spending a lot, this is like four or five hundred bucks or something crazy, you know, versus this, so it's essentially the same saddle, same padding, yep, same shell, yep. Let's have a look at the weight difference. Let's have a look at the weight difference, I'm just gonna weigh these scales down here, out of the camera view, you just have to trust me. Have to have trust in daddy and uh, so we have the the carbon railed version we're going to weigh that that is 150 
four grams. Or 130 grams, okay. But we'll just tear that again. We'll do that again. Always double weigh stuff. Double weigh it. Just make a bit of room here. Back it up. Back it up, buddy. So yeah, saddles. Just I recommend go to bike shops and try different saddles on, and uh, see see what you, you know, see what vibes with you. Because not every saddle's for every person. You know, it's not like diet. Nutrition, I can give you the right nutrition, but saddle, I can make some recommendations. It's up to you to try them out for yourself, and I'll go from there. All right. So we have 200, 230 grams for the steel version, alloy, titanium, metals. 230, 230, 230, about 160. So you're saving about 70 grams. Big price differences here. Big price differences here. 70 grams difference. So, yeah, it's a huge, huge difference. They're both, and it says, oh, there it says 138. 138. So that means that it's like a 138. You know, some people have wider hips, some people have narrow ones. For me, I like a narrow saddle. Personal preferences, personal preferences. Here we have. This is an interesting saddle. This is 105 grams. This is a Chinese copy saddle off eBay for about 30 bucks. You know, and I, I do like it. It has a big cutout. Feels pretty good. Again, with carbon saddles, if you crash them, they're gonna crack. So be wary of that. Be wary. Very, very light. Very, very light. Very cheap. Works for me. This is the Cell Italia. Uh, this is a new bike takeoff. These are about 400 bucks, I think these cost. I don't like them. It's too, I've tried it. I rode it in the street. I was like, nah, there's no cutout there. You know, for me, it's just a numb, a numb nuts. I've got two of these. So yeah, black trim, red trim. We'll chuck them on the on the flea bay. Uh, we have another Cell Italia Flow. And uh, for some reason, it sort of melted. I'm not sure what's going on there. So yeah, this is a, a flat saddle. It's not too bad. Just got to try stuff out. This is another Bontrager and Montrose. This comes stock on the Amonda LR, which in my Cycling Buyer's Guide, AKA Do Not As Lean Body Bible, is a recommended bike and it comes with the recommended saddle of Bontrag and Montrose. Actually, so this is the Paradigm. This is the Paradigm. Very similar to the Montrose. Very similar to the Montrose. It is a, uh, you know, it, it is very similar. Let's have a look at that. You know, there's not much difference, is there? What is the difference? Is it's probably a little bit narrower than Montrose is in the Paradigm. Paradigm's a good brand of shoes from Ultra. So there's, there's not a lot of difference, is there? Yeah, there's not a lot of difference when you look at them. Side by side, it's not. You have to test ride and decide. What difference is there really? Not much difference, eh? So, test ride then decide. Let's talk about seat posts. This is my favorite seat post. This is the Thompson seat post there. Just gonna zoom in on that one here. Yeah, this is the Thompson seat post. So these I like uh, because you can do micro adjustment. Very, very micro adjustment. Uh, they're a strong seat post. So if you are, if you know you're doing the carnivore diet, and you've gone up to 150 kilos, these will support your weight. And you're gonna go vegan, you're gonna lose 70 kilos. So this Thompson Post, this is very good, this is the Elite. You need to get them Cougar prices online. Made the USA. <laughs> Made the USA. And uh, about as wide as my arms. That's the Thompson Post, I've been using these for, man, I reckon 20 years I've been using Thompson product. I've got about 10 of these on various bikes and I do highly recommend Thompson Post. Very, very nice, very, very nice. So hopefully you got some value out of this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you want more incredible cycling hacks and tips. Unsubscribe if you didn't like it. Dislike it if you didn't find any value in this video. Um, if you want more information, go to duranod.com and I highly, highly recommend grab for the, the cost of a basic saddle, 35 bucks. You can have my ebook with hundreds and hundreds of tips and I constantly update it. And I updated it today. So you constantly, forever, as long as I'm alive, you'll get regular updates every couple of months when I make some new discoveries or see a new product that I recommend. You know, you'll get those updates. So you save time and money and let me do the work for you. Learn from my mistakes, learn from my victories and my wins, and uh, just yeah, join the ranks of those who get incredible results. And there's a lot of them out there. So there you go. That's the tips there, saddle tips. I wish I knew this stuff from day one. I had to make so many fucking numb nuts rides and fucking. You know, I had to make so many mistakes, man, to get this information to you guys. And you just grab it, boom, read it up, download it. Instant download from Shopify. Pff, fucking easy, loving it. Anyway, that's the saddle tips. Probably the most uh, little video out there on it. And, uh, man, wish I had this information back in the day. I would have fucking paid thousands of bucks for it. Thousands of bucks for it.
can cats ride bikes? This is Schnitzel. He's a rescue cat. He, Schnitzel was actually born in this backyard. He's a little feral cat, but he's become quite the quite the affectionate one. They're all running around. He? A beautiful little cat. We had him desexed recently. <laughs> there you go, cutie. Isn't he? So you gave me down, motherfucker. I'm about to call your eyes out. But yeah, this is a Schnitzel. Boom. Cat can jump. So to recap the video, basically get your saddle, just try different saddles, all right? Maybe even buy a spare seat post, just so you can have, if you've got a setup you like, keep it like that, and buy a spare seat post, and then have all your, your demo saddles, and just try different stuff with that, all right? And always mark everything with a whiteout pen, in case you change something up, and you're like, wow, I like that position, what was it like before, you know? Make a little tiny scratch on your seat post, just a little tiny one, just in case your seat post ever falls down, hits a big bump and falls down, or you take your seat post out, or a mechanic takes your seat post out, or you jump on a plane, and your seat post comes down, you go, oh, where, where was that seat post meant to be? Sticky tape, don't cut it. Make a little tiny, tiny scratch, a nanogram scratch, where you know where it should be, or if your seat post has numbers in it, maybe take a photo or a reference point, just a tiny, tiny little scratch, just on the surface there, so you know exactly where it should be, and get a white out pen there, all right? so. If you've got your seat, you just try different things. Have your seat slam right forward, see how that feels. Have it slam right back, see how that feels. Put it in the middle, see how that feels. Experiment with different angles, understand. You know? But by marking it with a whiteout pen or little scratches, you'll be able to quickly work out what's the most comfort for you. I definitely find that for longer, longer rides, a little bit of padding's okay. If too much padding, I don't like it. You sort of sink into it and it's, it's, you know, you create a lot of numbness. I uh, also find that you know, a bare bones carbon saddle like this is very aggressive, it's very racy, it's reasonably comfortable for me, uh, but I probably wouldn't want to ride across Australia on something that hard. Something like this, it's not too soft, but it's soft enough, and so it gives you a bit of a shock absorption as well, but there's really plush, cushy saddles for me, I don't like that. You might like it, try it out, but most people you'll find, you know, something like this to this, or in between, all right? So just my recommendation for the perfect saddle, how to find the perfect saddle, is try as many different ones you like. A lot of bike shops now have test demo saddles, so sign up with those and make sure your saddle is dead level or a little bit down. Never have it up, otherwise it's gonna be pushing pushing into your perineum right there, so or your clit. So you wanna have it just flat like that or a little bit down, all right? So you yeah, use a use a white out pen to mark everything and just be a little bit of a scientist and uh, work it out and then you'll soon quickly work out what sort of saddle works for you.